Welcome to the Bullvine Podcast, your go-to source for inside stories, cutting-edge research, and the latest updates in the world of dairy farming. This 37th episode explores whether the U.S., Europe, and China keep up with shifting markets and what people want. So please grab a glass of milk, sit back, and let's get started with this week's episode. Understanding the ebb and flow of the global dairy trade and how it shapes the landscapes of continents is vital for anyone with a stake in agriculture or food production. The U.S., Europe, Oceania, South America, and China dominate the industry, making up over 80% of global trade. During a recent World Dairy Expo seminar, Rabobank's global dairy analysts revealed it's a tale of stagnation, innovation, and potential upheaval. Each region faces unique challenges and opportunities. Europe's slowing milk production, the U.S.'s steady march driven by genetics, and how South America and Oceania recalibrate strategies in a thirsty world. Growth in these areas is less than three-tenths of a percent, a shadow of past decades. You might be wondering, what does this mean for future supplies and prices? More importantly, how will these regions adapt and maintain their pivotal roles? In the expansive world of global dairy trade, several vital regions stand as the primary players, each with its unique contribution and challenges. As we traverse the complexities of this trade, let's focus on five major regions, the US, Europe, Oceania, South America, and China. The United States, representing 15% of the global dairy trade, is a major player in the dairy industry. Despite recent stagnation, its significant milk production, primarily driven by advances in dairy genetics, has ensured a steady supply for domestic and international markets. This resilience is a testament to the stability and reliability of the U.S. dairy industry. Europe is a powerhouse in the global dairy arena, accounting for a hefty 30% of trade. This region has seen substantial production, particularly after the removal of the EU milk quota in 2015. However, it now faces hurdles that could hinder future growth, such as stringent environmental regulations and labor challenges. Oceania, including New Zealand and Australia, contributes 30% to the global dairy trade. New Zealand is the dominant force, leveraging its expansive pasture lands for production. However, it's now grappling with environmental and climate-related constraints. Brazil emerges as a focal point in South America. However, its share of the global dairy trade is relatively minor at 5%. This dynamic is influenced by Brazil's diversified agricultural sector and strategic trade agreements prioritizing imports from neighboring dairy-rich nations like Argentina and Uruguay. China, a significant consumer, is experiencing a domestic oversupply. As it bolsters its self-sufficiency from 70 to 85%, it remains pivotal in the global dairy narrative. Fluctuations in its demand have ripple effects throughout the market, underscoring its influence on the global dairy trade. The landscape of global dairy trade is undergoing significant shifts, marked by China's bold move towards self-sufficiency and the hurdles presented by stringent environmental regulations in Europe and Oceania. China's transformation over the past few years has seen its self-sufficiency in milk production leap from 70% to 85%. Such a dramatic rise hasn't gone unnoticed. It's a point of national pride and a strategic objective to reduce import dependency. However, this quest for self-sufficiency has repercussions. As China's farm gate milk prices begin to recede, the growth trajectory might also slow, offering a sobering outlook for other nations hoping to capitalize on China's past import demands. Meanwhile, dairy producers in Europe are grappling with regulatory challenges. As part of the European Green Deal, farmers adhere to ambitious climate, biodiversity, water, and animal welfare targets. These regulations substantially challenge maintaining, let alone enhancing, their milk output. The implications extend directly to trade potential, as any curtailment in production could lead to tighter supplies for global markets. Oceania is another case study of how environmental factors reshape the dairy landscape. Australian dairy farmers face the dual pressure of climate unpredictability and competition for resources as land previously dedicated to dairy feed shifts towards more permanent and profitable crops. While recent weather conditions have offered some relief, consistent growth remains an uphill battle amidst these persistent challenges. New Zealand mirrors these issues, balancing its substantial global trade contribution 
against the constraints imposed by environmental needs and regulatory measures. As the dairy trade giants manage these complex dynamics, the global market remains in flux. Each region's developments are interwoven with the broader tapestry of the international dairy trade. The U.S. dairy industry stands on a robust foundation, primarily fortified by remarkable advancements in genetic improvements and milk yield per cow. This sector's strength is underscored by the unwavering enhancement of milk productivity, even amidst fluctuating production numbers. It's a narrative that celebrates an innovative stride, focusing keenly on the undeniable role of genetics. Picture this, you've got fewer cows, but they're producing buckets more milk than before. That's the magic of modern genetics. Now let's delve into the potential for future growth. Despite a slight stagnation in recent years, the horizon looks promising. Analysts anticipate a steady increase of around 1.5% per annum in milk production. Rising class three milk prices and a rebound in farm margins, which could lead to a resurgence in profitability, fuel this optimism. The question remains, can the U.S. maintain this growth trajectory amid restless market volatility? Volatility lurks in the background, inevitably influencing the industry. Milk prices are notoriously capricious, swaying with market sentiments and fluctuations in global demand. However, the U.S. dairy sector has demonstrated resilience, consistently adapting to these shifts. The focus is on consolidation and efficient resource management to absorb economic shocks while exploring new growth avenues. European dairies stand on the precipice of significant change, confronted by multifaceted challenges that threaten the sustainability of milk production. The crossroads at which these dairies find themselves is fraught with issues of succession and labor shortages, compounded by the stringent requirements of environmental regulations. Farm succession threatens the longevity of agricultural enterprises. With an aging farmer demographic, many European dairies need help transferring ownership and passing down the knowledge accumulated over decades. The lack of willing or able successors casts a shadow over future production capabilities. Simultaneously, securing labor has become increasingly arduous. As rural populations dwindle, the availability of skilled labor diminishes, leaving existing operations struggling to maintain their workforce. This labor gap affects every production level, straining operations already operating within tight margins. The stringent environmental compliance framework intensifies these challenges. Dairies must meet rigorous targets concerning climate adaptation, biodiversity preservation, and water management by the European Green Deal. National level interventions add another layer with countries like the Netherlands implementing strict nitrogen and water quality regulations that force farmers to reconsider their operational capacity. Thus, the expected decline in milk production is hardly surprising. The cumulative pressure from these factors restricts expansion, redirecting focus towards compliance rather than growth. As dairies navigate these complex waters, the traditional landscape of European milk production appears set for a gradual transformation prioritizing sustainability over scale. Milk production faces significant challenges in Oceania, particularly in Australia and New Zealand. Frequent droughts in Australia have reduced the availability of feed crops, a situation exacerbated by a shift towards permanent crops like almonds and citrus. Although drought relief occurred in 2023, the sector remains burdened by low confidence and labor shortages. New Zealand, relying primarily on a grass-based system, needs to improve with weather variability, leading to inconsistent yields. Both countries are navigating stringent environmental regulations. In Australia, these regulations affect water usage and land management. At the same time, New Zealand faces challenges with environmental compliance amidst rising global demand. The focus is shifting toward cheese production, driven by the domestic market's needs and export opportunities in Southeast Asia and China. This strategic move leverages growing consumer demand in these regions, aligning Oceania's production capabilities with market trends despite natural and regulatory hurdles. The growth potential in South America, notably in Brazil and Argentina, presents an intriguing landscape for the dairy industry. Brazil has historically underutilized its dairy capacity despite its superpower status in agribusiness. However, the trend is shifting, 
with a strategic focus on expanding the average herd size and enhancing productivity through advanced genetics, Brazil is poised for significant growth in milk production. The shift towards more extensive, efficient farms indicates Brazil's aspirations to become a more formidable player in the global dairy market. The journey towards dairy excellence in Argentina is fraught with macroeconomic instability and logistical constraints. Yet these challenges conceal underlying opportunities. The country's vast agricultural expanse and potential for expansion in dairy farming represent untapped reservoirs of growth as the nation grapples with inflation and infrastructural hurdles, consolidating smaller farms and optimizing supply chains offers a pathway to reinvigorate its dairy sector. Both countries can leverage their substantial agricultural resources to bolster milk production and enhance regional trade. Strategic investments in technology, infrastructure, and farm management could transform South America into a competitive hub of dairy production. For Brazil and Argentina, navigating economic challenges while tapping into their latent agricultural prowess could unlock new horizons in the global dairy arena. China's stature as a pivotal force in the global dairy import sector is incontrovertible. Yet recent trends reveal a stark decline in import volumes, underscoring the complexities of its domestic and international positioning. The sharp drop in 2024 import volumes, down by a staggering 12%, signals a seismic shift, pivoting domestic pressures entwined with oversupply and dwindling local demand. The domestic dairy landscape in China grapples with resource scarcity and escalating production costs, which are compounded by elevated feed prices, a hefty 70% of the milk production cost. Small and medium-sized farms face unprecedented pressures, catalyzing farm consolidations and increased culling of dairy cows. These pressures are not merely economic, they reflect an industry grappling with sustainability challenges as it attempts to balance demand with production viability. China's dairy consumption trajectory might favor value growth rather than volume. Consumer preferences evolve, with a keen interest in higher-value dairy products such as butter and cheese diverging from essential ingredient-focused dairy products. This transition reflects broader consumer trends in which quality supersedes quantity. Despite this shift, China's dependency on imports is not relegated to history. Instead, it assumes a nuanced role, continuing as a significant player in the global dairy trade, albeit with a recalibrated demand that prioritizes quality and meets its population's evolving palates and needs. The recalibration suggests that the era of explosive import-driven growth China experienced in the past might have tempered presenting both challenges and opportunities for global dairy exporters. As we dissect the landscape of global dairy markets, the intricate dance between production and demand becomes starkly evident. Each region offers a unique narrative. The U.S. banks on genetic advances to sustain production. Europe's dairy surge faces the test of stringent environmental regulations. Oceania grapples with climate and market shifts. South America cautiously steps into global relevance, and China, a powerhouse in consumption, refines its import needs amidst domestic trials. These dynamics reflect a broader global dairy tapestry where seismic shifts in one region inevitably ripple through others, highlighting the sector's delicate interconnectedness. As we ponder the future, consider this. With these markets' perpetual ebb and flow, are we prepared to adapt and innovate or will we find ourselves caught in the tides of change? Thank you for tuning in to the Bullvine Podcast. We hope you enjoyed today's insightful discussion. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and leave a review. Catch you next time on the Bullvine Podcast, where bovine expertise and community come together. <laughs>